a lot of um, rock and roll guitar players or punk guitar players were doing this. Kind of Okay, which has its place, but I, I would say take those chords and instead of playing play like that, and that and I go. Just technically and musically the same chords, but just with a different sort of colouring. And then, so I try and be a bit more sort of bigger and floral. So. Which isn't a million miles away, then leads you to like. That kind of thing. So it was a kind of a. I, I wanted to sound like um, an entire record when I played. If you've got a certain vocabulary on the guitar and know how to play, how you feel, you can sort of express that and kind of voice it without all the hassle of turning it into words and concepts. Do you know what I mean? Music's less kind of, for me, you don't have to um, translate to make your point. Or just, you don't even have to be making a point, you just kind of like, it's like uh, turning your daydreams into sound. It's all kind of ringy and and melodic and there's you know there's a lot of emotion in it I think so uh, I kind of I play that way because that's the way I feel really. <laughs> really proud of it because I've done something that um, people uh, people who don't even like the band like the riff. The song didn't have that tremolo on it at first. It was initially me just going. Which is which is pretty cool. But, uh, but I thought it needed something so after we'd recorded it in the recording process I had the idea of Putting it through uh, through the tremolo, that, that effect, and that goes way back because I'd um, the genesis of that idea came from um, started off Hamilton Bohannon disco stomp. When I was a kid, I absolutely obsessed over that record, and the rhythm is that kind of. <laughs> And I think because of that, every time I heard anything like that, so obviously everything that Bo Diddley did, and um, particularly Hey Mona by Bo Diddley, and there was a um, um, I Want More by Can as well. Um, whenever I heard that sound, it just kind of went in there until eventually it just came out when the sort of the whole, the kind of mother of riffs, really. In all honesty, my dream guitar is. Um, uh, Rickenbacker back a 12 string but a 20 foot long 20 foot high through a 20 foot fender amp that would be it a 20 foot Rickenbacker back a 12 string through a 20 foot fender amp I'm getting there <laughs> 